We're going to be checking in with Dave Coombs in just a moment, but ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of breaking news here. The headline from the Journal Sentinel says, Company from Ghana opening a cocoa processing plant in Franklin, Wisconsin. First of all, before we get into the details of that, Dave Coombs, welcome to the broadcast. Let me explain this Ghana thing, okay? We've talked about this on the show many times. Doreen, growing up, young Doreen, had many pen pals. I did. But probably the one you wrote to the most was from Ghana. He was, yeah. Mm -hmm. He. He was. Dave, Marcus, you hearing this? Okay, he was. Okay. Joe. I I propose, his name is what? Joe. Uh Uh-huh. Sure it was, yeah. In quotes. Uh Uh-huh. Opuku, which... This also ties into the story. This is crazy. Company from Ghana opening the cocoa processing plant. The president of the company. What did you say your guy's name was? Joe Opuko. This guy's name is Edward Puko. Yeah. Hmm. Edmund. Wow. Edmund. Okay. I propose Mm -hmm. this company is moving here so that man can track Doreen down. Can you imagine? (laughs) Your parents warned you about this. (laughs) My parents did warn me. They did not. Yeah, well, because he was, he wrote me one time that he was going to New York oh. and he wanted to know how far New York was from Milwaukee because, you know, if uh-huh. it was close by, maybe he'd stop by and see me. And then, yeah, well, I told him it wasn't very close. So how far is Franklin, Wisconsin <laughs> from Milwaukee? <laughs> how far is Franklin, where this is going from my house? Not very. Not very Dear far. Dear Doreen, right. I haven't heard from you in a while. Guess what? Uh-huh. I'm coming to town. Ding he dong. would say my dearest Doreen. Mm. Ooh. I know. Well. Yeah, go. maybe he's just looking for your bank account. Ah, uh, that's what my parents thought as well. <laughs> mm. See, all right. Well, uh, w- since we're overseas, we'll we'll go to London with the Packers. We've been playing a clip from a couple of clips from Aaron from his Pat McAfee appearance, and mm-hmm. he's not real happy that they have to go over there that they had to sacrifice a home game. And I'm a little disappointed that they did not come to Marcus Allen, Dave, because Marcus was just in London a couple months ago. I know everything about London He knows now. everything. He was there for several Four days. Four days, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and not only that, he's a shareholder, too. He I is. am. Right. Yeah, so, he is. You know, he's as part owner of the Packers, they should definitely consult him first before anything big. Now, like do this. you think, Marcus, going on Thursday so their bodies can adjust will be enough time? Yes, it'll be enough time. However, they're not going to get any of the sightseeing things that they want to do no. in. No. But this isn't a sightseeing trip. Well. Right? It's a work trip. And for if. Everybody but Aaron, it's a work trip. Yeah. You know, apparently. for him, he just, he, you know. Well, he's got some football clubs to see. And mm-hmm. where would you tell him to go first if he had to go see one thing? Uh, the shopping district uh, down there is, is pretty cool to like walk along because it's like a good two, two miles worth of good shopping around the area. And of course, there's a hard rock. Right, right, right there. Did you, uh, talking quarterback, did you see Tom Brady's thing that he put, Dave? He recently sent a warning to young men who want to date his daughter. Now, his daughter Vivian is nine. Nine. <laughs> I know. He's, he posted a picture of a tombstone on mm-hmm. social media, and the caption was, anyone who dates my daughter, and he circled the tombstone in orange and captured captioned the picture. I want to be crystal clear about this. <laughs> Okay, this let, is an angry man. No, no, He's no, no, an no, no, angry man. No, 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 let me tell you something, Dave. As, uh, as the father of two sons and a daughter, mm-hmm. m- my two boys were probably five and three, and they asked my mom at the time, who was babysitting, what a nun is. And she said, why do you want to know? And they said, because our baby sister's going to be a nun. <laughs> That's what our dad tells us. <laughs> That's a true story. That is an that absolute is great. true story. She's married with three kids, by the way, now, so that All right. that didn't work out. No, that way, you so. can't force them into it. Mm-mm. Unfortunately, no, no, you can't. Uh, uh, you well, know what? It, I understand it, it, that the whole yeah. thing too. With I yeah. two daughters, like it's just the way it goes. Yeah, but yeah, you're Tom Brady. Like you have to send out a message of any boy that wants to date my daughter. If you're a boy, you know who Tom Brady is. You really don't want mm. to screw anything up. Not at all. You're okay. you're they're like like embarrassingly like shy to do anything. No. I, I think I, I he's, would, just, he's, he's reaching out a little bit here. I don't know. He's got the injured shoulder. He's got the pending divorce. Yeah, yeah they hired yeah. lawyers, too. That, yeah. that came yeah. up. I really do I hate when very pretty people that have everything get divorced. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it happens. Looks, money, <laughs> it talent. Happens. It happens. Uh, a couple of other NFL notes you might have missed. Philadelphia signed free agent place kicker Cameron Dicker to their practice squad. So once again, that headline, Eagles signed Dicker the kicker. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> and I, I don't know if he's going to get in yet, but I'm 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 pulling for Dicker, the kicker, to get in the, the game. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the kicker. 
Yes. And then speaking of great names, there's a top high school basketball recruit. I don't know, maybe Marquette can get in on this. His name is Jizzle James. Wow, what an interesting True story. name. Yeah. Jizzle. Jizzle. J I Z Z L E. Jizzle James. Faux Jizzle. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Maybe it's, a, a shizzle. maybe it's a Snoop <laughs> yeah. thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's a BC maybe. Boys thing. They had a song, Jimmy James. Why not Jizzle James? Oh, yeah. yeah. And and he's got to be called, he's going to be called Jizz for short, which is unfortunate, I think. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. You know? Well, you know, yeah. I yeah. Freakonomics. His parents probably didn't read it. <laughs> no, I don't think they did. <laughs> hey, and did you see the guy who caught the Aaron Judge 60-second home run? He does, yes. not, he does not need money, does he? No, no. He he manages a one hundred and ninety seven billion dollar account at Fisher Investments. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's he's fine. He's because the, be okay. the ball the ball could be worth what hundreds of thousands of dollars. I I'm guess, sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. Is he going to give it back to Aaron Judge? Is he going to auction it off? What is he going to do? Has he said anything I, about? it? I haven't seen that yet. Um, I think he probably keeps it and puts it on display in his house. There you go. And the guy who fell in an attempt to get the ball is okay. They put that out. So yeah, he fell into the bullpen. Trying to catch the ball. That's got to be a little embarrassing when you look around mm-hmm. and the bullpen pitchers are all looking at you like, hey, how you doing, man? I wonder how if he asks any of them for it. Hey, you guys got any balls since I'm here? <laughs> well, we, well, we know he does. He jumped out of the stand. But he's ballless as far as Aaron Judge's ball. <laughs> That's true. He is. he is. And what's the process for for verifying a ball like that? So in other words, you catch a big home run ball. Mm-hmm. That's Who, a good question. How do, you ver- how do you verify it? Well, like, he's all over TV now, so... Yeah, I guess. I guess you're right. That's part of the problem, or part of the part of the uh, solution is he's he's famous himself. Yeah, he is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, at every major league baseball game, there is some sort of official, like a notary public, on hand for every game who can do this. Hmm. It doesn't, wouldn't surprise me if that's yeah. the case. Yeah. By the way, the guy who caught the ball not only is rich, but his wife is fairly famous. She's in local media in the Dallas area, but on her bio. One of her social media pages, it says she's an alum of The Bachelor. Yeah, she was hmm. on Ari Leindyke's season. Mm-hmm. I don't know oh, how far. Oh, The Driver. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how far she got. I don't know like either. That, but... I did watch that season, though, because it was, it was horrible. It was a horrible season. <laughs> All right, Dave Coombs, thanks for the time. We'll listen to the Midday Show. We always do. Thank you, guys.